Today I'm going to show you some fancy dancy better discord plugins that are actually useful. They improve the quality of your life because my life sucks, but this made it only slightly better. Anyways, to start off, you need to go to the first link in the description and you need to download better discord. Now better discord is against discord's terms of service. What does that mean? Well, if you DM discord a photo of you using better discord, they might ban you for a day. So just don't do that. It's that easy. Anyways, click on the download v1.1.1 or whatever version that pops up. Just click the download button. Then, once you download Better Discord, you actually need to pick a plugin that you want to use. Now, I'm going to show you all the plugins that I'm using in this video. But pick one that you want, and you will go to a page kind of like this. All you need to do is click the download button, and you will download the plugin. It's, it's that easy. So anyways, let's actually install Better Discord. So go into your downloads folder, and you need to open the Better Discord-Windows installer. Once you open it up, you will see this fantastic license agreement, which no one's going to read. So click I accept the license agreement, press next. Click on install Better Discord, press next. Then select your Discord version. If you don't see one here, you don't have Discord installed. But click on the one that you can click on and press install. Now once it installs, it will restart your Discord. Now once Discord restarts, you might see some crazy stuff pop up. That's perfectly fine. That's what you want. But the main thing we want to look for is you need to go into your user settings. Then you need to scroll down and you should see this better Discord section. If you see that, better Discord's installed. If you don't see that, something went wrong, join my Discord server, and I'll help a brother out. So, all you need to do is click on plugins, then open the plugins folder, and it'll open a folder behind Discord. So, you'll see it right here. All you need to do is drag your downloaded plugins into that folder. Now, I have all the other plugins that I'm going to download and drag it into there, but when you do that, Discord might pop up with a whole bunch of stuff and it'll say a library plugin is needed. Just click download, and it'll pop up with a whole bunch of stuff. Just keep going through it and click download, click download, click download, click download, click download. Just keep pressing download, and at some point it'll be done, and you'll have a whole bunch of pop-ups and they'll disappear. The main thing you want to do before going any further is make sure you have BDFDB enabled, and scroll down to the very bottom and make sure you have Zeri's plugin library enabled. Now, if you don't see these, that means that your plugins don't need them. So that's perfectly fine. But if you do click the download now button, you need to make sure you look for these. Then you can actually move on to using your plugins. Now, for our first plugin, it might absolutely blow your low, uh, the socks off your feet. So you need to enable the plugin and nothing will happen. That's because you need to press the control plus R key. And once you do that, Discord will restart and it'll be a good boy. And it'll actually load the plugin and you'll see the absolute magic that will pop up. Close off all these little things that'll pop up. This happens all the time. But once you do that, just click cancel. You don't need the helper plugin. And you will see tabs. You have tabs in Discord, finally. Oh my goodness, so it's really easy to use. The main thing is you can click add to add a new tab. You can go to one server, then you can go back and forth between two different servers. And if you are on a tab that you want to keep, just right click the tab, click add to favorites, and you can go to it at any point. So friends, click general, you'll go to that tab. You go to my super cool Discord server, you click general, you go back to your server. It just works just like that. And if you navigate back to your user settings, go to plugins and scroll down to channel tabs and open up the settings, you have a couple of settings that you can mess around with. The main ones that you want to look for are show favorite bar or hide them if you want. You can also show or hide the tab bar. You can reopen the last channel. You can have badges on your tabs, which I would just, you know, just leave most of this as default because it works like a damn charm. Next up, we have do not track. If you enable it and go into your settings, that's it. It just prevents Discord from tracking all your analytics, which might be a good thing if you're a little privacy nerd, or you might not even care about it. But that's literally it. Just have it enabled and it won't track you. Next up, there's online friend count. If you enable it and you press escape, you will now see this online friend count. I only have one friend online, and that's me. I'm living a really sad life. So for the next section of the video, I'm going to focus more on channels and categories, which, you know, that's kind of Discord features. Anyways, to start off, we need to look at typing indicator. So enable typing indicator. So typing indicator has a couple settings I want to go over first. The first one is include muted channels slash guilds. Now this is helpful if you have a whole bunch of Discord servers. This is just the best way to do it because you'll probably mute like the Fortnite server, but you might want to know when people are talking in it. 
So just make sure to turn that option on and press done. Then if you join a random server, mind you, you may have to click out of the server and click back into it. You'll notice that when people are typing, it'll show up with little icons next to the channel name. It's that easy. And for our next plugin, we have better NSFW tag. This is very helpful if you are on servers that include this type of content. I, I don't know why, that's kind of weird, but if you enable it and then you close off your escape thing, you will notice that first off, this is how the usual icon looks, but if you press Control R to restart Discord, when you open up a server, you will now see this massive NSFW tag to indicate that a channel is not safe for work. So it's that easy, just make sure you restart Discord right after you enable the plugin. The next plugin we have is a voice user's counter. Now it's pretty straightforward. If you enable it, you can see how many people are in a voice call. So for the voice user counter plugin, it's kind of weird if I join my Discord server and you see that we have a ton of channels for some odd reason, you will notice that if a server has a normal counter on it, like zero out of 69 people on the voice channel, nothing will happen. But on channels that have an infinite amount of space for people, you will have a number beside it. And as you can see in my favorite Fortnite server, uh, I cannot see the amount of people in a Discord server. I do not have that counter. And that's because there's a lock beside it. It's full. I haven't even validated my a sign in on like the it's just it's it's kind of finicky but it does work for you know most normal discord servers and for our next plugin we have bigger stream preview now this one's great if you want to peek on your friends and see what they're doing so i join my favorite discord server that's not full of toxicity league of legends and i see a whole bunch of people are streaming and i want to see wow are you winning or losing well i can't tell from this distance my eyes are garbage right click on someone's name, click view stream preview, and you now get an image where you can open the original using Google Chrome. And if you zoom in on it, you can kind of tell what's going on. You can tell that, you know, he's not doing too bad. He hasn't died yet. Absolute big gamer with zero CS. What the heck? All right, keep on gaming, gamer. And for our last, but certainly not least plugin, we have do not disturb while playing. If you enable it and you play a game, your status will turn on do not disturb. It's it's that basic. It's it's very helpful. It's great. And that's kind of it. And that wraps up the installation portion of the video. If it worked, like and subscribe. And if you want to support the channel even further, just turn off your ad blocker when you watch my videos. And if for some odd reason it didn't work out for you, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section or join my Discord and put your issue in the help channel and I will help you out as soon as I can. Now let's get on to the uninstall portion of the video. Now let's say all these plugins are just a little too fancy for you and you want to go back to Boomer Discord. Well, all you need to do is first open the plugins folder and make sure you navigate to the plugins folder and just delete all the files in here. And once you delete them, that's all the plugins gone, but you need to uninstall Better Discord. So to uninstall Better Discord, go to your downloads folder, open up the Better Discord installer, read the license agreement upside down from right to left, press next, click uninstall Better Discord and press next. Then click on the Discord version you installed it to and click uninstall. Then once it's done, Discord will restart. You can press close on the installer and Discord will restart and it'll be back to normal. Nothing weird about it. There's no Better Discord settings anymore. And now, you can think about, wow, I had everything, and everything was so perfect. My life was so good, but now I just ruined it. Anyways, I'm going to go play with sticks and rocks on the middle of a four-lane highway. Have a fantastic day, Timmy. Mwah. Love you.